Hi, welcome to In the Kitchen with Tabby. So our cheese bread came out of the oven and oh, look how beautiful it turned out. Today, we're gonna make my homemade bread. And for my tip, I'm gonna show you how to give it a garlic taste. So let's get started with some sugar. You're gonna add your sugar into a mixing bowl. Then you're gonna add some 110 degrees water to that and make sure that the sugar gets completely dissolved. We're gonna mix that in real nice and good. After that has dissolved completely, we're going to add our yeast. We want to make sure that this gets stirred in and dissolved real quickly. And we're gonna give it a fast mix so that it starts to give a creamy foam to it. And as this is forming a creamy foam, it will proof. Okay, we're gonna let that sit for a few minutes and allow it to proof to a creamy foam. So now that we've allowed it to proof to a creamy foam, we're going to add some oil to it. And we're going to mix that in real nice and good. And then for my tip, instead of using just regular salt, we can add some garlic salt to this mixture. The most important ingredient is ready to come in. We're going to add six cups of bread flour to our mixture. And we're going to do this one at a time. After we've added all the flour into the bread dough mix, we need to let it rest for a few minutes just to uh, let all the ingredients combine together. Now that our dough has rested, we're going to knead it into a ball form. So we're going to take our wrist and go down onto the dough into the countertop with it. And just knead it a few times to make it into a bowl, give it more of a solid form. We're going to place our kneaded dough into a well-oiled bowl so that it can rise. You're gonna cover it with a damp cloth for an hour. It's gonna double in size. So after an hour, the first thing we're gonna do is punch it down and let all that gas kind of escape from there. So we're gonna roll this bread out and we're gonna make a pizza bread and dinner rolls out of this. We cut our dough in half here. Now what we're gonna do is cut these into smaller pieces for the dinner rolls. Then we're gonna take the individual pieces and kind of form them into little balls, and then we're just gonna place them into a muffin pan. Now we're gonna let these rise for about 30 minutes to an hour, just so they double in size, so we can bake them. So now with the other half, we're gonna make this into a piece of bread crust. So we're gonna finish rolling it out. Remember, this is a bread crust, not a pie crust. So we're gonna stretch it out a little bit till it forms into our pan. And you want enough of a layer to hold all of your pizza ingredients. Then we can add our sauce and make our favorite pizza and put whatever toppings that we want. Now that we have it all nice and covered with lots of cheese, we can bake this in the oven at 350 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes. Now that we're gonna make the loaf bread part of it, the only difference is, is we're just going to cut it lengthwise in half. And we're gonna form it to make a loaf. And then it needs to rise for an hour. Your dinner rolls, you're gonna put in the oven at 350 degrees for about 10 or 15 minutes. And your loaf bread here is about the same. Oh my, look at that pizza. Didn't it turn out really nice and good? Mm, homemade pizza, that's the best. So after you pull your rolls out of the oven, we're going to put a butter and garlic glaze over the top of them. Oh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? We're going to make our garlic bread a cheese bread. We're going to use our butter and garlic mixture to glaze over the top of this. And then we're going to cut it in half. Then you're going to take your butter and garlic into the middle part of your bread here, just like that. Then you're going to take your cheese and place it in the center. So our cheese bread came out of the oven. And oh, look how beautiful it turned out. Oh, this is so yummy, I can't even wait. I have to try it right now. Mm. Oh, you gotta come back for more, that's for sure. 